Playing opposite Angie Harmon as Jane Rizzoli is a lot of fun. Uh, we laugh a lot. Uh, both Angie and I have a similar sense of humor, and there's a lot of there's a lot of laughs between takes. Um, and it's great because I think it translates on screen as well, because these are two women that you know can laugh at themselves and don't take themselves too seriously. The thing I like best about playing Dr. Maura Isles is that she, uh, you know, she's an odd duck. She's she kind of beats to her own sort of drum in a way and and it's very liberating to play that kind of a character because she's not really concerned about being liked uh, you know she's she's eccentric and she has a lot of stuff going on in her brain so a lot of times uh, she's just kind of in her own world and there's something really fun about that I've learned a lot about you know from her from playing her I have not worked with any of my castmates before. I'm a huge fan of Lorraine Bracco's and uh, Bruce McGill's uh, and have admired their work forever but have never actually worked with them. So it's been really fun and I learn a lot every time I do. Yes, I'm going to sleep. Once production goes on hiatus, I am going to sleep. I'm going to spend time with my children. I have a six-month-old at home, so uh, and I have a five-year-old, and so I'm going to hang out with them. My daughter starts kindergarten, and you know maybe we'll put in a little bit of work during that off time, but we'll see how it goes. It has to be something kind of lovely to be able to to get me away from home. <laughs> well, as a working mom, uh, it's challenging to you know to have your family and your children and and juggle work. I think that most women who do both uh, experience the same sort of stuff. I, you know, I, I find it comforting in a way to obviously be doing what I love to do. So that's the thing that takes me away from my children. And I, um, but it's, it's still tough. It's tough to not be with them. Uh, but I try to bring them to set as much as I can and, uh, you know, just organize myself the best way I, you know, possible so that I can kind of do both. And we get spurts of time off. The great thing about my job is that we work really intensively for a while and then we don't. So I get to do both. I think traveling with, uh, with young children is always a challenge, uh, especially, you know, we, we travel between Los Angeles and Europe twice, three times a year sometimes. And, you know, it's 11 hour flights and it's nine hour time differences. So we've gotten it down. Uh, you know, we, we arrive to wherever we're going and we try to immediately get into the time zone and try to get on schedule. Uh, and I, that helps us a lot. But it's hard because it takes a few weeks for, you know, the kids to adjust and for ourselves to adjust and, and then we're coming right back home. So it's not easy, but we bring a lot of games and backpacks full of activities and coloring books. And, you know, I, I, uh, I try to buy things that maybe my daughter hasn't seen before and then I hide them. And then, you know, nine hours into the flight when she's getting restless, I pull out something new. And so that keeps her busy for two hours. So, you know, you manage. I have some great travel tips for families. Uh, one of the things that I rely on is a product called Baby Agogo, and Baby Agogo is this a set of wheels that you can attach to any car seat, uh, baby seat, and all you do is pull up, you know, pull up the little. Uh, the little handles and you can they turn into wheels and you can sort of use that to go through the airport instead of having to carry a separate stroller you can check on your stroller and then you have these wheels attached to your car seat that's great and you know I I just like to buy uh, new toys that they've never seen before and bring them on the plane along with all the medicines you may need in case of an emergency <laughs>